Yeah, uh, sorry. Good, good evening, everyone. We're going to start by saying glory to his name in Navajo, page 12 in the Navajo Songbook. Corinthians 12 on this uh, that'll be our text we'll go ahead and read it and then we'll start a study let's pray Heavenly Father we thank you again for your word we pray for help as we Study on study on work again, pray for help, strength, comfort, peace to do uh, your work and uh, help us to learn something that will help us today. We thank you in Jesus' name, amen. All right, chapter 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, 1 through 10. Uh, you can see. Okay, it is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelation, revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Whether in body I cannot tell, or whether out of body I cannot tell. But God knows such an one out caught up to the third heaven, and knew such a man, whether in body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth how that he was caught up into the Paradise, into paradise, 
and heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for a man to other of such and one will add glory yea of myself I will not glory but in my own infirmities although I would desire to glory I shall not be a fool for I will say the truth but now I forbear lest any man should think of me above that which he sees me to be or that he hear of me unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations there shall was given to me a thorn in the flesh the messenger of Satan to buffet me lest I should be exalted above measure For this thing I besought in the Lord thrice, and it might depart from me, and said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in witness most gladly, therefore I will rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in, in infirmities, reproaches, in necessities, in persecution, in stresses for Christ's sake. For, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Work and the strength to do it. Work requires energy and the exertion from manual labor to desk jobs to the work of the ministry. A certain amount of strength is needed to properly do the task. Where do we draw our strength from? What is our source of energy to do the work that is set before us? As covered in our last lesson, our flesh is weak, there will be points when our flesh will grow weary and just fatigued with the working. No matter what the job might be, there will be days when we will need strength to serve in our ministries. There will be and we'll go to our job sites. Uh, actually, there will be days when we will need strength to rise out of bed early and go to our job sites. We will need strength beyond the capacity of our a mortal man. And then the start at the bed of what I need to call it called at either at a level a prisoner on her zeal or a bigger. A quote a grandbain and the city and the key to all the chess. A car has to have a car has to have a digging banner and the store at the name. A quote the leads and Hard and she had the little hot on this. 
We Christians must understand that the world's idea of stress is not going to be sufficient. In fact, the Bible, the Bible's definition of stress and the world's idea of stress, stress <coughs> are very opposite. A dictionary divides stress into three categories, physical, mental, and mortal. The definition given which covers all of these areas is the quality of state of being strong bodily and or muscular power, mental power, or vigor, moral power, firmness, or courage. However, physical strength Metal strength and moral strength are insufficient and of themselves. We are to consider this topic work and the strength to do it. We will look at the statement made by Jesus to the Apostle Paul that reveals to our true source of strength the goal of this lesson is to remind God's people that in their moments when we feel too weak there is a source of strength that can enable us to press on. Let us see what the Bible teaches regarding our strength to work according to the Bible. The Kiss 
Paul acknowledged that he is shown when he is awake. How can this be? Paul meant that when he is empty of his own strength and wholly dependent upon sufficient grace of Christ, he in fact is stronger than he has ever been. About Paul, a quiet Ah, <laughs> Christian life is a paradox, meaning it seems contradictory to the world's philosophy. In Christianity, when you serve others, you are chief. When you become a bondman to Christ, you have liberty. When you are weak, then you are strong. Christ 
I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Through Christ, no, yeah. Christ is the Lord. I so so Christ on the car, she doesn't know in the peace out here, the husband. Oh, the quiet by another little list. As a class to give example from scripture of individual given tasks that require more strength than individual possess, how did they finish the work? Set before them a big job that were given them. Anybody? Anybody about Moses? Children out of Egypt. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that too much? How did they finish that work that was given to them? David, though Moses said, but the other day, Adi, but the day that end has the day, Saturday, La. Ado Jonas, though, no, 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 and let it be taught me to say, I will not be as an answer to my healing. 
Gideon when he led the three when he led the three hundred into war. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's why I'm reading about my reading the judges. Ruth. Ruth. Uh, people. Esther. Esther, huh? Ruth. <laughs> it's Esther. Oh, Esther. <laughs> Esther, yeah, but then uh, you say it, uh, so it's uh, Asa. It's a cow. That was a big hit. Oh, you got a top on it. Goliath, eh? Yeah. Remember Goliath? The big guy was a Bruner, was on get him. You know, Papa and Bruno. So he said, hey, little guy, I'm just going to squish you. And then, uh, David killed the Goliath. Oh, what a yeah, it's so hot, but he hears that David, he would argue that better, 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 better thing. Yeah, he's losing to him. I call that to be that's a drop name that I call it. Be a hot out to it, a yawl, still in him. So he did I say, well, uh, kind of start this one again, and then we'll don't have a, another break until uh, quite a time. So we'll just file it. I don't know if you begin here. Number two, Paul's attitude. <coughs> I say Paul our need and so we are the case now keep on it after each and as we work our way through our primary text verse we have seen that Paul acknowledged where strength of work comes from Christ and the sufficient grace of God in the able the Christians to move forward in the will of God. Now, another vital aspect of strength to work comes into view. Paul not only gives us a statement about strength, but he also gives, makes a statement that reveals a lot about Paul. Paul's positive attitude Shines forth the second Corinthians nine and then all the way a second half of number nine and the first part of uh, verse ten. Okay. It says, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest. Glory, Nila, Paul's attitude. In the infirmities, verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in the infirmities. And that the power of Christ may uh, rest upon me. And then turn, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecution, in distresses. For Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. And I will end there. We'll pick up uh, from there again. <laughs>
Lord. Let's pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word, and we do pray you bless the week and our praying there are needs out there that we may not know about, and we do pray that uh, things will go well for people that hurt and uh, have needs that have not been met and they're still struggling. Others uh, doubt the Lord and uh, defeat it and, and they're not even throwing the towel. So help us this, this night as we pray. Well, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're on our prayer list again here the end of March, uh, the 30th day. All right, Ellen Jr., A for Cheryl and her unspoken request, Aiden. Actually, that's Brandon. Brandon, A Tohan, Ellen, three, Aiden, and Eden. Leon, A Stanford, and Gary. And uh, Stanford, I mean, Gary, a uh, Archie, uh, Nana, he's not here in uh, Cedar Ridge, he's away somewhere, Phoenix or uh, <coughs> someplace. So Lillian, a uh, U.S. president and now a nation president. Dolly, a essential employees. Lil- Cindy, a elderly, Lester Clark, Solomon, Daryl, Jason, Maxine, a unspoken from the church, Aiden, a Lester Clark family, Ellen, three, Eden's dad for salvation, Raymond John, A. William Pearson, Adam, Donna, H. Behozo Baptist Church, Sharon, A. Quarantine, Daddy I, Lillian again, Ellen Sr., Dolly, Nana, Sat Mary Yazi, is still uh, missing the husband. She, Carletta Etana's uh, unspoken request. So all those are the ones that we have on hand now. And so, thank you.